Teachers in El Paso's biggest school district back on campus today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Marin. Natasha is on assignment. As educators return amid COVID concerns, one local teacher says she's out. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap has our top story. Ahead of the first day of in-person learning for EPISD students, one teacher put in her letter of resignation today, telling me she does not feel comfortable returning to the classroom. Um, I actually submitted my letter of resignation this morning. Kimberly Kincaid has been teaching for 17 years, saying she didn't feel comfortable teaching in person without being vaccinated for COVID-19. We've made it this far and we're so close to being able to be vaccinated. I just don't understand it. Kincaid adds that she's on the list to be vaccinated, but hasn't received a call yet. I put myself and my uh, significant other on the list right away with the uh, UMC and the city. We haven't received any information yet. Telling KTSM she's fearful after losing her mother to COVID in October. It's an extra, an extra scare for me. EPISD says they are working to get their staff on the list to be vaccinated. So those that have been trained to provide COVID testing, uh, school nurses, and like I said, those employees that are 65 and older. Those are the first group again, since that's who's being prioritized in the community. And after being out of the classroom since March of last year, EPISD says they understand returning is difficult. And now coming back to our roles, still in the middle of a pandemic is hard, but we don't take that lightly by any means. El Paso has now had COVID hospitalizations under 20% for 25 days, which according to the state means students can return to school. EPISD telling KTSM that on Tuesday, classrooms will only have 50% capacity or less, but adds that time is running out to return to the classroom. We have to get back to the classroom, um, especially by February 1st. Our, our TEA waivers expire. So on February 1st, we go right to green zone, uh, regardless of the rates in El Paso County or Region 19, all students who want to come back can come back on February 1st. Other districts are also preparing to bring students back into the classroom, those students whose parents opted to have them return. Now, SISD plans to have students back in the classroom on Tuesday, and YISD will have students back by the 19th of this month. Reporting in Central El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.